Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Full Stack Adda. Today video is about Spring Boot Actuator. What is Spring Boot Actuator? Spring Boot Actuator is a sub-project of Spring Boot Framework. It is used to monitor and manage our application when we deploy our application to dev server or QA server or to the production server. So when we add the Spring Boot Actuator as a dependency to our application, by default, it will add some endpoints to our application. Using those endpoints, we can actually get the information about our application. By default, it will add two kinds of endpoints, HTTP endpoint and JMX endpoint. So to add actuator to our project, we need to add this Spring Boot starter actuator dependency to the pom.xml file. By default, only slash health endpoint is enabled due to security reasons over the HTTP protocol. We can enable all endpoints with the help of below property management.endpoints.web.exposer.include equal to star. If we put star, it will include all the actuated endpoints over HTTP protocol. If we want to specify only few endpoints, we can specify those endpoint names uh, like this health slash info. I just mentioned these two endpoints. And also, if you want to expose all endpoints over JMX, we can use this property management.endpoints.jmx.exposure.include equal to star. And in this demo, I will also show you how to get Git information with the actuator endpoint. Let me show you a demo for this actuator. I have already added actuator dependency in the palm.xml file. Here we can see. Let me build the project. Clean install. Build is successful. Let me run the app. It is starting. Yeah, we can see application has been started on port number 1010. So, to see list of all actuator endpoints, first we need to type HTTP colon double slash localhost and our port number 1010 slash actuator. So if I enter now here we can see the list of actuator endpoints enabled by default. So as we discussed by default we get only health endpoint. So we use this health endpoint to see to check whether the application is up and running. So after actuator we need to type slash and health if I press enter now we get the JSON response status key and the value up so application is up and running to enable all other endpoints we need to declare one property in the application dot properties file here I already added here as a comment now I am enabling management dot endpoints dot Web dot exposure dot include equal to star. Star means it will enable all the actuator endpoints. For JMX, uh, in place of web, we write JMX. Let me save. Let me stop the server. I built the application and ran again. Let me open actuator again. Now we can see all the actuator endpoints here. Beans endpoint, cache, health, info, config props, env, loggers, thread dump, metrics, mappings, all this. In general, we don't use all these endpoints. Normally for ma monitoring purpose, we use uh, some popular tools like a new relic and all. 
so one common endpoint we normally use is the health check we already saw that one and we can also check the latest git commit from the actuator so to get the git commit we need to add a one plugin to the build tag in the palm.xml file so this plugin we need to add this one io dot github dot git hyphen commit hyphen id so stop let me stop the server and let me build again we can see in the logs so this plugin automatically collects all the information from the dot git folder and it creates a new file git dot properties inside the target folder let me show you yeah so this is the file git dot properties it is automatically generated by the git hyphen commit hyphen id plugin let me run the app again yeah it is up now to see the latest git commit id we need to enter after actuator we need to enter slash info yeah so by we get the response as a json object git we, we can see the branch name main and commit id here and the timestamp as well so this is how we can check the actuator endpoints using the HTTP protocol we can also see all these endpoints using the JMX so to to check using JMX we can we need to launch the J console tool J console tool we get within the JDK inside bin folder So here we can see J console. We need to double click on it. So it opens this window. Since I'm running my application in my local machine, so here I can see application under local process. So if you want to connect to any application which is running in any server, you need to enter that host name and port number. And if it requires any username and password, you need to enter here. Under local process we can see emp management applications that is my application so click on the connect button and it gives some pop-up yeah no problem click on the insecure connection now we can see overview tab and inside memory we can see memory usage and threads information and classes information JVM details here and under beams and if you expand spring framework dot boot and you need to expand again endpoint here actually we can see all those actuator endpoints here you, if you expand health operations click on health and here we have health button if you click we get the another pop-up here you can see status up close it and another endpoint info click on it and click on info button now here also we can see the latest git commit id so this is all for today's video if you like the video content please hit the like button if you have any questions, please add a comment below. Please share this video with your friends. Thank you. Bye.